Hello and thank you for watching here. This is Zekron3 TV. Uh, this is Smos at Denver Motorsports Park Super Speedway, the uh, oval variant of this track. Uh, we have a tie for pull. Uh, Kyler Schuster in the 9 as tied with Sam Oskin in the 57, last week's winner, for the pole position of this race. Both will be awarded points. However, since I believe the f 9 of Kyler Schuster was the first to set the lap, the game decided to give it to Kyler. So he is going to be your pole sitter for today's race at Denver. Uh, 30 laps today for this race. Uh, 39 cars. Uh, again, no double fall restarts any longer in the series due to the issues we've had. And um, other than that, interesting stuff to look forward to. to uh, Reggie, you got any first thoughts? He's here in the booth with us right now. No, I don't. Uh, little note, points leader is Exo right now. Uh, the 82, 32 barely held that points lead as the points gap from the lead to last it did shrink quite a bit after Texas as most of the cars up front did not finish too well. You see some of the cars clipping through. That's just the game being the game. Uh, so Exo starting uh, better than Brock Nelson right now, so could possibly gain that points lead. We'll see. It is one of those tracks where like draft is a big thing, but it's also Denver, so checkups could be a thing. Uh, losing the draft, I, I wouldn't be too surprised if we seen that, but that would have to be a decently green flag run to do that. Uh, same with Oskin, though. He's in the catbird seat. Only 20 points back from the leader. Or I say 20, 16 points back from the leader um, in standing, so he could get a good points day as well. Uh, David Dons, 20 points back. Eric Monaco, 21. Jeremy Ferry, 28. And then Tottenham, 3rd. And I think anything past that would just really come down to finishing and if anyone DNFs or whatnot. But who knows? It's a long race. We could see a lot happen. I wouldn't even count out uh, Marco Lennard, Thunder 24 fan, Skyler Taylor maybe doing something. I think Riley Gorsh really the only driver. 45 points back. I don't think he could really do anything with one shot. And even those guys that are further back, I don't think they can get it either. Because DNFs are not a surefire um, deal no points now. Uh, but doesn't mean you're going to get low points. It really just depends on where you DNF now. But again, 30 lap race. Got Kyler, Kyler, Kyler Schuster starting from the front. Both these guys share the pole award. But Kyler, since he got the lap first, is going to take the reins. What about 20 seconds to the fire of the engines. We're going to see what TV2 here has for us. This old pace lap didn't quite test it, so it'll be interesting to see. Cars again look better. Turn on shadows and reflections as well. I don't know if you've seen it in Texas. Unfortunately, the glitches there were an issue, but we're going to get the start of the engines going. Drivers, start your engines! As I said last week, Texas, a uh, game glitched on me. Uh, did cup at... Um, what was it? Coca-Cola. That went okay. Uh, we decided to share the full screen instead of the application. My game decided not to quite co cooperate there, so hopefully I get a fix for that soon. I'd like to go back to streaming some NRAs, possibly CCRS, as, as the reason I haven't done that is that reason. But, uh, yeah. That is the issue there. Reggie, you want to call the green here? Yep, I can get just remember there's a restart zone. Just basically whenever you see the cars, or I guess you can't really hear it per se, because uh, full screen. But once you see those numbers start going up a little quicker, it'll probably be the signification when we go green. We'll issue in the chat. We'll take a look at that. It's like the 98 of uh, Alex Simvidil maybe having some issues in that car. Green play. Four or five wide already. Already, three wide for the lead. Two Coca-Cola cars and the necklace is next. I cannot speak English. Next is it car. But it looks like Kyler Repulsor is going to pull out ahead. And it looks like the 15 of Chef Squid having some issues right now. Along with the six, a lot of issues for a lot of cars. Do we have a crash? We, 
What? Did, did we have a crash? We may have had a crash, guys. Uh, let's take a look at it. I thought I had cautions on. Did it happened before the line is the question. It did. What what caused all this? Oh, there was a crash on the pacing lap. The 90 or the 30 and the 1 got together. I mean, I guess they got it off the track. It was out at harm's way. The game did not throw the yellow. The 15 involved. The... Where'd the 6 get into this, though? Oh. Yeah, the 6 just went ahead and went straight to pit road. No, nothing reason for that specifically. Uh, he's coming back on the racetrack right now. Not seeing any other issues for any other cars. Let's go back to the leader, see if we have any other issues at this point. Uh, I think we're still green. Uh, chat again, blinking. Yep, Pure so. No uh, no, nah, it's just the six and the one coming out of pit road with their issue. So, a little weird. I'll let it slide, but it looks like Riley Gorse in the 16 has taken the lead from a departure. Still some crazy racing in the back. Yeah, they're four or five by better. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> Ryan Cole, who was uh, finished second at Auto Club, had a very strong race there, battling with his teammates, uh, Marco Lennard and uh, Craig Pockers. I forget where that other uh, road racing car is. I believe there's four. Might be three, though. If so, uh, all, all three of them battling uh, at the end of this top ten run right now. See Matthew Hill sending it three, uh, four wide. To our points leader XO, Skylar Taylor, and Jet 07. Some more four wide with Silas Wilmot, Alex and Vittle. Who apparently that issue did not uh, mm. cause him to go to pit road, and then I believe that's Zig Zagoon and the 06. And again, this is mid mid pack really, 25th at quadruped. I think who's still last in standings. That would be correct. 122 backs from the leader. More four wide the 75. It's real dreamer. Batatna. Crazy racing back here. I think they're starting to fold it out as we may get a green flag run here. I'm not seeing any cars having drastic issues. Let's see if we have any retirees from the race. It looks like uh, Noah Clifton, unfortunately with that issue on the restart, did cost him the race likely. David Don a lap down, but I believe I don't think he has any really big issues on that car. Uh, if he gets a yellow, he's I think he's still in good contention. For a decent uh, run, he, he might actually go another lap down here soon. And then the 30 of Cooper, still up to speed, I believe, to the 16 of Riley Gorse. Uh, who is the leader? Is they're catching the six of David Don? I think again, who's on pace? So, is he Andy Angie Johnson up here? And it looks like it's going to hold up Kyler just a little bit. Nope. Uh, looks like. Uh, it's going to hold require Kyler quite a bit, unfortunately. Kind of in a bad spot. That's going to help the 16 and the 24 pull away. Seeing uh, Angie Johnson had a really good run at Pocono. Now run up here, going to try to take the lead away from Riley Gore's teammates, by the way. David Don now two laps down. He's going to need two yellows to put himself in decent contention here. I believe David Don's kind of caught on the draft now. He'll probably be up to pace with these guys pretty quick. And it looks like we are under yellow here at Denver Motorsports Park. Pace car is out. And it looks like it might be the 98 of Alex, Alex and Uh Only car I'm seeing in my chat button. He's out of the race, it looks like, in that 98 car. See what happened to him. Also seeing the 99 and Potato Boys, so they're right next to each other. So I'd imagine they uh, probably wrecked each other or something here at some point. I imagine it's just lapped somewhere. It may even start before that, but just guessing. They're seeing they're the only two on my chat button. Oh, yeah, the 99, oh, the 5 and the 9, I got in the 99, nowhere for the 98 to go. First caution of the day. That's going to give David Dawn a free pass. 
I just we were talking about those checkups in the corners and just north of the 99 or the 98 to go there. Huge implications. Yeah, I don't imagine the five also come down to pit road. Let's see kind of what happened here. Let's go to the, I want to say roof cam of the 99. And just get an idea of what happened. See the uh, 30 also coming to pit road. Damage from lap one. Pretty rough. What does TV2 provide here? Does it provide anything good? Yeah, just sends it in deep. Five car checks up. Wasn't ready for it. Puts the five in the wall. 98, nowhere to go. Spectator got anything good for that? Let's go on the five. Yeah, just got in the back of, and yeah, nowhere to go. Just looks like a little bit of driver error, just trying to figure out what lane we're going to be in, and I just checked up a little early, and nowhere for 99 wasn't quite expecting it, and nowhere for the 98 of Alex and Vidal to go. That'll put David Don back to just one lap down, so he'll try to get another lap back if we can get another yellow here. 30 car got that damage repair pretty good. I think they might be on the pace of the field. We'll have to see. Uh, it's going to take the 99 and the 98 out of the race. Brandon Nelson able to stay in it. And as we said, David Don getting that one rave around. That might help him out. I believe the 16 got the yellow. Yes, uh, Riley Gorse got the yellow. Again, um, Grim Green this time, by the way. No double fall restarts due to the issues we had races before. So they're going to single file out here. Duke it out to the end, possibly. That was a very interesting wreck that happened there. Potato Boy, Alex and Video, and Brandon Nelson. Reggie, you got any thoughts on that one? No. I'm, uh, Zach, give me a second. Alright, 10 4. I got the baby, so give me a second. Alrighty. Yeah, unfortunately, Shift Squid not even showing up on the ticker. It looks like he was out of the race as well. Forgot to mention him. Unfortunately, didn't even get to complete a lap. Shift Squid's had a very rough start to his NCCRS career, despite leading a few laps in the beginning. Some of those Wick Rare cars really struggling here in Smos. Cup. Uh, in the Cup Series, though, the same cannot be said. They've been doing fairly well. Also had some struggling to get some results. For some reason, it looks like there's a little bit of blue on the side of the 24 next to the Tama logo. I don't know why. I think it's just my eye bugging with me or something. Might be a little texture. Some, not, is it texture? I, I can believe it's texture because I'm seeing it on the 94 as well. Green flags back out. We'll see who got a good start. 957 or both our pole sitters both got a good start there, but the 94 did not. That's going to hold them up enough to let the 24 and the 16 teammates come to front. You've been working together all right. Riley Gore, surprisingly, doesn't have a, a single win here yet in Smos. Like you said, he was that guy that was 45 back in points. I don't think he has a shot for the points lead, uh, especially not right now. Especially seeing all, not a lot of the guards high up in points are out of the race or in threat of being so. Training big time down there. Just trying... A lot of guys <laughs> just wanted to take it single file. Didn't quite work with the 94. Alex Tanker, single car operation, is going to try to take a low, take the lead. Alex Schuster going to try going in the top lane. You've got the three, all three Roach, where I can't, Roach Rare Ye Racing cars, three wide, defending a top 10 position right now. And you got Pace Navery right behind that, Jeremy Frey. That's going to let Space Guide and the 22 pull away. Space Guide is definitely a sleeper pick right now. 
very bad in the standings. Both the K&K cars, 22 and 30. Uh, 99, not doing too great either. But uh, I think all all three of those um, K&K cars have been on the highlight reel so far this race. The 30 has got involved in the wreck. The 99 got involved in the wreck. 30 is still in it. 22 still in it. 22 is running very well right now as well. I think this top little pack here we have is going to be an interesting fight for the win if we see it go this far. And finding your draft partner is going to be very important here as well. And you see that 24 and 16 working very well together in the lead. Just trying to pull away and get it. 1-2 for Dom Patrol Motorsports. And they got SB1's Thunder 24 fam. PS Motorsports. Same Oscar won last week. Trying to go for 2 for 2. And then College History for Trackhouse. And you got the Roach Rare E-Racing cars up here. It looks like uh, Marco Lennard may have packed out a little bit. Got shuffled out. Uh, uh, never mind. He's going to come back on the top. Is that check him on the bottom? Oh, the 20 turn! The 46 in the wall! They're wrecking! The 37's involved! 21! 51! Big crash! Your points leader's in it. The caution's out. Riley Gorse will once again take it. To be safe, I'm going to go ahead and go to our pit lane one. Hit pause. Make sure our game doesn't crash. Turn on green-white checkers in the instance we may need them. Go back live. And, uh, man, that one was a nasty hit. Let's go back to the 22. Let's go TV2 for replay here. And we'll get a roof cam probably after that. A nasty hit. You see the 46 getting the wall, 22 spun around, 37 nowhere to go, 21 nowhere to go, 30. Yeah, that's a massive wreck. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. That was just huge. Right, let's go to the roof cam of the uh, Ian Styles in 45. I want to see his view of it. And you know, he's definitely done for the day. So is Matthew Hill, probably. That or they have severe roof damage. Yeah, very unfortunate day for those. I wonder if Cooper made it out of, out of that alive. I know he was involved in that, I wouldn't even call it lap one, that pre-race wreck. Got him back to the 23 a little bit. Not really too worried about that. Let's see if he navigated through this okay. I'd say he evaded that pretty well. Unfortunately, our points leader did not... I mean, he, he got involved. Pretty hefty hit to the back of the 21. 07 involved. Uh, the 51 involved, but I don't think he got a lot of damage. And Rubin Gonzalez, Pox Cozart, Hizekin Zagoon, Genji Khan. And 46, not too happy with the... Whoa! 46, not too happy with the 32 there, but... Uh, we'll see. We're probably going to see a laundry list of cars no longer in this race. Uh, speaking of uh, David Don, though, uh, he is going to get... Uh, he's going to get back on the lead lap here, guys. Or I guess I'm just by myself, I forget. But, uh, yeah, David Don back on the lead lap after uh, having that issue on lap one. Uh, had to pit. I don't really know what the issue was, but I, I really think that car is still on pace. Could make it to the end of this thing. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to go live. This is not quite live. All right. All right, so out of the race, 37. Uh, I'm not sure about the 17. They get uh, Byron Webb. Got, uh, Brian Webb got some dice damage there. Well, not, doesn't look like a horrible amount. Uh, Brandon Nelson, I don't think he was involved in that. Was he? Mm, maybe. And I don't see a lot of damaged cars. I'm Surprise the 32. Uh, he had a really nasty hit there. Um, he's definitely towards the back of this pack, but that's going to really hurt his car. I know he got a really nice hit there. But uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, 90. Matthew Hill's done. We're going to go ahead and go green this time. I should be, think we should be good. Everyone should be catching it pretty good nicely. But that's going to take out uh, Ian Styles. Space Guide, who is running great, so that means all three k, &K cars involved in a wreck today. Um, only one left in the race. Not very up to speed either. And then 
exit a last running car other than David Dawn, who just got his lap back. So he's back on the lead lap, surprisingly enough. Usually you don't see it here in Smiles for the CCS where cars go two laps down and are able to climb their way back into the lead lap. So uh, what I thought was going to be a bad day for him may, may not be too bad after all. I'll have to navigate through those slow cars in order to get any positions. So it's going to be hard to do that. But not so hard since the single fall restarts. We'll see how it goes. Regardless, of these two up front have been cooking. Almost like DEI style racing here in Smos. The 1624 working together as teammates. So far has worked great. Both of those cars have been front most of the race. And uh, you got Alex Tanker trying to split that up. Thunder 24 fan Kyler Schustre and uh, Sam Oskin. Both are pole, pole sitters still in the top 10. 63 of uh, Ryan Cole. Almost one auto club. I know I keep saying that. I feel like that was kind of robbed from him. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to say that. That's messed up. But he's an interesting uh, pick. Pace and Avery, not a sleeper pick either. And got uh, Jeremy Frey and Eric Monaco right up top 10. Eric Monaco, one auto club. Green flag back out. The 24 did not have the best restart there. That may give the 98, I say 98, 94 just enough to get it around the top, but I I guess not. Um, 94, 24 was able to recover a little bit there, but 16 got a great start. We'll see if that's going to work or not. This is one of those drafty tri type tracks. It's going to be hard to really gauge if a good restart's bad or not. It's a drafty type track, but you still got to slow down the corners. And as you've seen, that's caused uh, one. I don't even know, maybe argue that second wreck uh, as well caused by that. All right, see a little check up there. Oh, they're going to go low here. See if it works. Be interesting to see. 16 still kind of blocking both lanes. Going to work with 24 for the most part, though. Going to get that draft going. Thunder 24 fan also do this, doing the same. Oh, looks like they're getting a little through. Ryan Cole sends in a little bit deeper. He's going to lose some time, though, on entry. Exit speed may say otherwise. We will see. And once again... The Dawn Patrol cars are to the point right now. 1-2. The question is now, what's gonna come, what's it going to come down to that comes to the end of this race? Or even right now, for that matter. When When is Angie going to run out of patience and be like, alright, I want to lead some laps now. When's my time to shine? And that kind of attitude could cost them the race at this point. It looks like we might have a four-wide move here. Eric Monaco, he is not lifting. Yeah, he's going to go three wide, 91, almost up in the wall. The 66 is going to send it deep. Going to keep it stick on the bottom. 91 lost a ton of spots on the top. I think he had to lift a little extra not to hit the wall. As the 94 has gotten around the 24. So, Alex Tanker, I believe he got two wins last season. Getting better every season. Uh, I wouldn't even say, oh, 24 got to tighten the, he's going to lose, she's going to lose some spots. Angie Johnson, so... Tires may have worn out for the 24, and yes, that can't happen at this track because they're f or briefly forward wide. Marco Lennard making quite a few positions on that bottom line. He was looking to be the weakest link of Rotary Racing at the beginning, now looking to be one of the stronger ones. And then, of course, Craig Pocker's not looking too hot right now as he was involved in that last crash. Let's keep an eye on our cars that are off pace. Um, got a group of them about 10 seconds back at this point. I wouldn't really worried about them. Even if they do catch him, I'm not worried about it. 83, you're going to lose a lot of time. The 54, we'll see how exit works out for him. Looks like the Roach Rare E Racing cars, once again, they have sorted their way through. Outside pull winner Sam Oskin going to look for two in a row here if he can get around the 57. But this, Oh, it looks like the caution is once again out here on the racetrack. According to our... Yeah, pace car is out. Seeing anything on the anything specific here? It looks like 25 Caden Williams and got involved in something. He's had a very rough start to the season. It looks like his his day is done in the 25. He had a good run. I think it was last week in Texas, and that's about it. Let's see what happened here. This was for 16th. Sent it deep. Uh, 88 got in the back of him. Dale Earnhardt, and unfortunately, that's going to hurt the 88 as well. Not what they needed. 
Take a look at uh, onboard uh, Silas Wilmot. Fortunately, he's got Dove on. He, he the 25 dove it in. 88 was there. Well, actually, he wasn't there, but he was he was there, but wasn't there the whole time. Yeah, uh, physically, it doesn't look like the 88 has a lot of damage, to be honest with you. Um, internal, I don't know, but from this side, it does not look like they have a lot of damage. Hard to say. From that. Uh, yeah, it looks like they got some wall damage. No surprise, though. They did hit the wall pretty nice. Alright, no, I think it was just one car. I think we were good to go green this time around. Less the race under caution, the better. We don't really need a whole long caution. I think we only ran one lap under it, so we only need one lap. Get back on green here if we can. So it's going to move, move some cars up in the positioning order and lessen the threat of cars coming a lap down and causing issues. And I, I think that, that chance is pretty low at this point. So it's good. Some cars haven't quite caught up yet, but I do believe they will catch up in time for the restart. But yeah. Um, we started with 39. We are down to 30. Much better than last week. I can't remember if last week was that bad or not, but it, or no, it was Coca-Cola and CCS. We had half the field wreck out in one wreck. It's pretty nasty. Notable things to mention here: Angie Johnson falling back to ninth from that last restart after starting second. I think it might have been tire wear, from what I would assume. 16's held point pretty much most of this race. He's had this kind of his to lose at this point. 57 outside pole sitter, gonna try to go for two in a row. Alex Tanker got two wins last season. He's going to try something here. Uh, Ryan Cole going to look for redemption from Idle Club. Marco Lennar going to look for his second win after winning Papyrus Motorsports Park last season. Eric Monaco looking for his second win of the season after winning Idle Club. Nimrod looking for her first win of the season after a rough start getting Wick Rare Racing. Not having the greatest small season so far. They're going to try to get it going. And Tufty Terror going to look for some good speed. Jeremy Frey don't uh, sleep on him either. He's been fairly consistent. Green flag back in the air here at Denver. The 16 didn't have the great restart, but we've seen before. The shifting gears is going to be interesting. Is it already three wide? Kind of right here, but the 94 doesn't quite have the speed. 16 doesn't have the draft, though, at the moment, but we'll see how that works out. See if the 57 can perfect the corner. 90, 63 got a great entry. I mean, great entry. Wow. Ryan Cole, fourth to possibly the lead in one corner. He's got his teammate Mark Lennart on the bottom, going to help him out with draft. And that's going to be enough to get him around on the 16 on the bottom. Eric Monaco pushing. We'll see if the top lane can prevail. 16, try not to lift too much. 63 is going to take it. I think he might lead it at the line. Yeah, 63, Ryan Cole. We're just talking about him. I mean, we talked about everyone in the top 10, but Roach Rare E Racing, 1 2 right now on the bottom. Don't count 16. Eric Monaco trying to. Spoil the party. Nimrod you know, trying to do something. Ryan Cole is taking the lead, and it was a Don Patrol Motorsports party. Now it's a Roach Rare Yee Racing par party. You got Track House mixed in there as well. And big lead for the 63 at the moment. Great start there. I got him this position. That's 16 trying to fight back up here. I wouldn't count him out. Never mind, I would. I think he, oh no, never mind, he didn't. I thought he hit the wall. I thought I heard some scrapes. We stay green right now. See Skylar Taylor back there trying to sneak into the top 10, one at Las Vegas. One of the rookies. Doing all right in standings as well. Skylar currently 10th in standings. Trying to sneak in a top 10 here. And so far they file out. Nimrod had a great restart. Got herself into the top five. Fourth place right now. Got Stamon Oskin. We've been talking about him. He's stayed inside this top six all race, really. He's going to get a good run here on Nimrod for fourth. So is Riley Gorse. I think Riley Gorse really has the fastest car right now. Just didn't have... They really had to do something to pick him out of the lead, and they did. Now they're going to have to try to... Prevent him from getting it back as the 57 may have sent the corner a little too deep. He's going to cost him that spot. Angie Johnson is not done either. Both those Dawn Patrol cars pretty quick today. 
I forget what the other Dawn Patrol car was, but I think there is another one. But Riley Gorse uh, didn't have the greatest restart, but I don't sleep on him yet. He is trying to get that spot back. Definitely has the fastest car right now, I would say. He's going to try to get these Rotary E-Racing party back in his control. Angie's not too far back either, but he's got Chevy help nonetheless from non Official team is manufacturer affiliates. Eric Monaco, Sam Oskin. This is ro just like the Dom Patrol cars were. Uh, Rotary e Racing working well up front together right now. Again, I, I looked and I don't think there's any threats of any cars getting DQ'd at this point. Even if they are going to go a lap down at this point, I don't think it's going to be enough for him to get DQ'd. At least in my opinion. 16 going to try and clear the 48 unsuccessful Nimrod just running her own race as you can tell doesn't really care about 16 once that top three doesn't quite have the draft there on the bottom it's going to lose actually cost them this spot perhaps we'll see we're going to send a little deeper it's not going to quite work for that 29 it's going to help 16 get around the 48 and 66 maybe getting a little antsy for that second for that lead spot Ryan doesn't have a win this season, but both of them have a win in this series, both coming last year, teammates now. We'll see how that goes. 16 with a great run here. Can he keep it going? No, it doesn't quite get the right run as Reggie leaves the, leaves the thing. Three laps to go here at Denver as, we, as we've got the Rotary E Racing Party. Does the 66 stay behind the 63 to get it to the finish, or we'll see. Did not expect these guys to have the greatest cars in the field. As we see the 88 looking to be off pace. I, I did not actually consider them. I think they're actually way too off pace now that I'm seeing. They're going to split the middle here. Hopefully they don't cause a wreck, because I, I did not think about the 88 having that much issues, but apparently they did. Hope they don't cause the yellow. If it does, uh, oops. That means overtime as well. We stay green as the 66 is going to get around the 63. The patience is gone. They're no longer working together. Is this Riley Gorse's chance to maybe split them and try to get that lead back and get the win here with two to go? He's going to try to get the run off the bumper. He's needs he's needs that draft. Question is, is does he bump him or does he try to pass him here? Gonna try to go a little lower. 66 arrow blocks. 63 gives a little bit of arrow push. Moves him up the track. And that may be all she wrote for Riley Gorse, but we'll see. So a little racing left. One lap to go here at Denver Motorsports Park. Marco Lennar looking for a second career win. Ryan Cole trying to hang on, get a Perhaps a Roach Rare E Racing 1 2 if Riley Gorse doesn't have anything to say about it. Riley Gorse got the draft on the top. He's going to try to go for second at this point. I don't think the lead's in reach for the 16. Teammates on the bottom. Both checking up a little early. 16 going to try the send. Oh, it's not enough. That's going to be all she wrote. Hold on. The 63 is going to run on the bottom. It's going to be a Side by side in the line, I think the 66 has got it. Roach Rare E Racing 1 2.05 is the gap between the 66 63. Little close, not too bad. Clean finish as well. Did not think about the 88 being that far off pace. However, they knew that they did have damage. I did not think it was going to be that bad. Pure, purely off speculation, so that's interesting nonetheless. So, Rotary Racing 1-2. Uh, Craig Pockers, I don't think, did so well. Unfortunately, involved in that wreck. Um, did he finish? Where Where is he? Yeah, he finished 22nd with damage, so not a bad day in the business. Sam Oskin, two podiums in a row. Nothing to shimmer at. And Riley Gorse, unfortunately, did lose another spot, so he's going to finish 4th after leading most of the race. Unfortunately, the Rotary Racing cars... We're able to hold him off and get the win. And then Eric Monaco is going to hit fifth. Sixth place is the 94 of um, Alex Tanker. And then 
Nimrod holds on for a top 10. So does Angie Johnson. The 93 of Tufty Terror sneaks in to get a top 10. So does Skylar Taylor getting one taken away from Jeremy Frey. Well, that is all from me and Smoss. Thanks for Reggie popping in, helping out with the broadcast. And thank you for all for watching. If you like more, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want any specific content, specifically anything on Entertainment 3 related, I am thinking about getting more flexible into that. So just let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see you later.